Hi, welcome back to Meta Rules TV, where the underground meets the playground. And any time, the dog can knock over the tripod because he's very precarious. Here, what's going to happen? <laughs> give, give it he's just seconds. chilling right yeah. under it, literally. Um, so, who are you? I'm Jeff Rappaport. <laughs> I'm Matt Givens. I'm Dylan from Brothers in Exile. I'm CJ from Brothers in Exile. All right. So, in the news, Black. Wow. They were good. Yeah. Good Black Tusk. It's getting ready to release its new EP, Ten No Wounds, on July 23rd via Relapse Records. What did you guys think of uh, Black Tusk? Well, I'm, uh, I was familiar with them anyway, because I'm uh, oh. a Relapse whore. Like I, Relapse I has an amazing bass. Relapse record. And uh, they, they're sending a lot of sludgy kind of stuff lately. I think they're trying to find the next Mastodon. Trying to That's exactly what I thought of Black Tusk when I first heard <laughs> Weren't they on Relapse at one time? Yeah. And I, yeah. I think they still own partial rights, like their reprise releases their, their albums, but I think Relapse kind of still owns it, maybe. Well, right. yeah, if, if the album was released on a label, even if they leave that label, does the label still have the rights to that Something. album or their songs? Unless they sign the like, yeah, rights away, yeah. yeah. I also think but the also, quality is so far of each album has been getting better. Who messed up? Oh, no, yeah. Of, uh, of Black Tusk. Tusk. Oh, Black Tusk? Yeah, yeah Black Tusk is <clears throat> like, uh, they're like a sludge band, but they got like a lot of southern rock. Yeah, southern influence. Well, yeah. The, slu so. the kind of sludge metal bands, they kind of do the crappy quality thing. Like it's a little bit like black metal, not so much with like, you know, a pocket recorder like black metal, but it's kinda like Right, that's what you have to be Yeah, it's right. one of those things you gotta kinda have that sludge kinda sound. Sludge. You gotta have, you know, not Metallica sound quality. I would say that uh, to me they sound like stoner punk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, that's, yeah. That's, that's what I got out of it. I um, stoner punk mixed with like Sludge. <laughs> yeah, I had heard about them. I thought they were kind of like messing on at first, and then I didn't really pay any attention to them. And then a couple years ago at Mayhem Fest, me and my buddy we were walking around the um, I guess Relapse had their own tent or something. No one was around it, and they had a bunch of posters. We just took every poster that they had. So I now have a Black Tusk poster hanging in my room. Don't really listen to them that much, but it's a right. wicked poster. But I mean, yeah, the whole sludge thing, I think, is. Sludge. But they yeah, it's hit or miss. It's yeah. a it's a very unflattering so, term for, so your, for your for musical genre. <laughs> but they had, I thought they had catchy riffs. They might like they're like I wrote high but still heavy. Yeah, they're not perhaps as reliant on uh, the low end of the aural spectrum. Right. It's it's a little kind of like doom <laughs> doomy metal. This kind it can be it's mostly slow. I'd like to yeah, think. Well, you know, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just like a so it's just real. I mean, grind it, it, kind it, of. It, it is an unflattering term, but it describes it perfectly. Sludgy. I mean, it's one of those it's genres where you know that's exactly how they got the name for it. It sounds like very sludge. sludgy way to look at things. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Black Tusk is a cool band. It's a six track EP, I think. Get yourself in a sludgy situation. I was, I was actually going to ask you something. What do you think of bands releasing EPs rather than full albums? Um, it seems like a waste of time. I mean, just just go ahead and release a full album. I mean, yeah. it's only a couple more songs. You know, like you're like an EP. It's almost like, yeah, we got enough. I don't really feel like writing another song. I kind of understand though. I think I think bands are trying to get as much dough as they can nowadays. It's you know in the advent of downloading and you know what yeah, I mean. The maybe, maybe they make more off of two EPs right. than they do off of one album. Rather than change, you know, writing a new record every two years, I might do an EP. You know, I might do an album. One year later, do an EP. Two years later, do an album. This, this you is know, probably a little off topic, but do you guys think piracy is hurting um, bands like this, or maybe? I, I think I, the audience for bands like Black Tusk are more diehard. They will buy the albums because it's not it's a extent, huge yeah. band. Yeah. So I mean, we are not going like, to sell a million record <clears throat> anyways. Yeah. So. I, th yeah. I think it hurts mainstream bands more than bands like this. Yes. Yeah, because Lil Wayne doesn't have enough golden toilet seats. Yeah, I think I don't think it, like Black Tusk yeah. is a band that can go and they could. Go on tour and, the, and and like sell their CD directly and actually make yeah. more money. And they'll sell like vinyl copies of albums. Like those yeah. fans of bands like Black Tusk will buy like vinyl. And, yeah, you know, the, like point. the cool like package, you know, of like pre-order deals and stuff like that. I think you know, smaller bands don't really get hurt by piracy because their albums aren't like readily available all over the yeah. internet. Rather than you know, if like Metallica puts out an album, you can find it. You know, a week before it comes out, Black Tusk, you might have to do a little searching to find it somewhere to yeah. illegally download it. But fans of bands like that, I think. Prefer to buy the album. They're the fans that like, complain about piracy. Well, I think you brought up a good point. I, I've noticed a lot of bands have started selling their album at their shows, which is a really good idea. Because they make all the money from yeah, that. I think every band should do at, that. At that yeah, Gorod absolutely. show, I bought two Gorod CDs and a uh, what was the other band? An Animate Existence. I bought their album. So if they yeah. sell it on tour, that's their or, money. Or, that's or, their or all their sell profit. it. Sell it at a discount price at a show rather yeah. than at a store because that encourages people to you know want to come out and yeah. be like, hey, I got your CD. 
Well, that's what bands are, are relying on that stuff to make money because they're not making any money at the show themselves. Yeah. yeah. You know, but they probably got $100 to play that night. Yeah, so yeah, the merch is like their yeah, money. Yeah. There's a, um, like a Facebook picture or something, you know, it's like buying a t-shirt from, just think of, you know, when you buy a t-shirt from a band, you're sending them 50 miles down the road for, you know, touring. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, obviously the more stuff you buy, that's money in their pocket that they have to use for touring. It's not necessarily they're making all this money. They need to sell the stuff to tour. Right. So especially a band like Black Tusk, they thrive on you know selling their actual stuff. Yeah. So if you're complaining that you're not seeing the bands you want because they're not coming around, that's maybe that's why. Maybe hope if you like a band, band buy, their stuff. buy their stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. buy their stuff. If, if if bands didn't sell merch, didn't sell albums, there wouldn't be any bands. I'm not a I'm not, not a legal anyway. downer. I always buy all my stuff. They they can't live on twenty dollars a day for the tour. Yeah. Yeah. I always buy <laughs> I always buy stuff. All right, we guys have anything else on Black Tusk? Uh, just they're pr- they're pretty good as far as the, the genre. Good. I like them. I like the southern rock elements <laughs> so far. And uh, I have I have one of their albums. Uh, I think Taste the Sin is the one that I have. Which I, it's pretty good. Yeah. I think so. as as far as sludge metal goes, Black Tusk is I think one of the yeah the uh, the forerunners for it. They're one of the first band I probably the first band that I heard of as the sludge you know metal genre. Um, there's some kind of smaller bands, but even Black Tusk is still small. You know, it's it's a really kind of narrow market for sludge metal nowadays. Definitely think yes. they have a lot to offer, so I mean, I'm mm. definitely looking forward to this. And I think we should get um, a view for every time we say the word sludge. 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 <laughs> get yourself in a sludgy Slithis. situation. I want to start Slithis metal. Slithis? <laughs> As a like Slytherin metal? We'll just open a dictionary, go to a word. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna create a genre around this where it has to sound exactly like <laughs> Slithis. Mortgage board. We created. Oh, I like that. Yeah. We created several subgenres on the on the Metal Rules TV. Oh, you yeah. can create like boner ridic- metal. Beauty and the Beast metal. What what Beauty bands classify as boner metal? Uh, is Grim Metal Wars Grim? There's Cobra boner. Wars. There's boner metal. Yeah. <laughs> That's we did. We invented. This that. is. Yeah. Yes. Dang. Butcher Babies. No. No. Butcher Babies is not. Butcher Babies is crap. No. Oh, they're terrible. But yeah. if there was any band, no. I would boner, consider boner, boner metal. metal. You have to be. You have to be. Have a good. Yeah. It has to be good metal and have a hot chick in the band. Yeah, you can't just yeah. have a hot chick. So you can be better metal. Yeah, if, you, if, if this chick is as hot as you say, you guys are <laughs> You're chicken metal. metal. You might have to just you know print up new shirts with boner metal. Right. Really, if your chick is hot and and that you guys have a great band and is a great band, then you yes. would be boner metal. Right. Brothers in exile, so new shirt, boner, boner, metal. boner metal. Yeah, boner metal. Welcome Brothers and boners. You're now in exile. Brothers and boners. You've been boned. <laughs> boners and exile. Boners and exile. That's, yeah. that's the back. What the back says. You've been boned. You've been boned. Boners in Exile, new band name. <laughs> All right, so that's what we have on Black Tusk. <laughs>